Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the new permission options for Dataverse and Teams. I'm going to actually spend a few minutes talking about how you can take those existing apps and those flows and the chatbots that you've invested your time building in your own teams, and you can distribute that across other users outside your teams. But first, here's my intro video. So this new permission options is also called as the broad distribution of apps within the Dataverse for Teams. And in a nutshell, here is basically what happens. So early on when Teams came out, this is basically how Teams worked. You know, you had a team, which is a group of people, you had different channels into it, all the messages and all the chats were stored in Exchange, all the files are stored in SharePoint, and everything is great. In fact, this a lot of this is exactly how it works right now. But then later on in the game, something happened a new concept of Dataverse came in. And Dataverse is where you could store all the tables. You can go ahead and have your apps flow and um, chatbots over there. Out of the box, you got two gigs of data, which is huge, two gigs of data. And all the security was tied into the security group that applied to that team. So it was already pretty slick, and I was pretty happy about that. Um, was already making some great progress on this. But something happened. You see, there were people who noticed that all that work and effort that you've done into building those apps flows, they were only contained inside that team. And people outside could not access it. So think about it. Now, all this time and money that you've invested building those really good solutions were only available to people in the teams. And if you just wanted that availability outside the team, you actually had to share the entire team. And, and that was challenging. And this feedback was taken by the product group and they made some huge improvements recently. And here's basically the outline of that. What they did was they basically put a new permission model right around the table and all the apps and everything that you built over there. And now that is can be shared across all the people outside. And then people outside still do not get access to your chats, they don't get access to your files. They just get access to that Dataverse and all the solutions that are built over there. And everybody was happy about that, and this was just released over here. So in a nutshell, basically, here's what happened. These are the key things that I want to share with you. What happens is, in your team, when you go to your Power Apps, the change or the change in the permissions need to be made on the tables. Don't make it on the apps, or you can't, you can't make it on the apps, you can't make it on the chatbots, it's right on the tables. So basically you go to your team, in your team you go to the other uh, teams, you click on Power Apps, and if you don't find the Power Apps, you can always click on the ellipses down there. And that's the first thing, you click over there, then the next thing is you wanna do is click on the tables, and then after that, when you see the list of tables, click on the ellipses over there, and the ellipses gives you the option to select Manage Permissions, and that's the one over there. Now you will see this new functionality altogether, which is a new permissions model over there. And there's already these uh, uh, the five permission models. There's the full access, collaborate, private, reference, and then none. And then by default, you know, uh, depending on who you are, like if you are the owner of the team, then you by default get full access. But more importantly, only the owner of the teams who basically has a full access can go ahead and make these permission changes over there. And it's it's pretty sweet. It actually gives you a lot of functionality and therefore you can go ahead and share with people outside your teams and pick and choose what level of permissions you want to give it that you know people should have a collaborate level which means that they can fully collaborate with you that you can you know create new records and they can read all the old like records or you want to make it private but they can still create new records and they should only be able to see your records so you've, you've got some good permission options to work with over here but finally i want to leave you with these two key items over here the first key item is that uh, by default, the colleagues or the colleagues with access role has no access to any data of any custom tables over there. So you want to keep that in mind. And as I've highlighted over there, colleagues will have no access whatsoever. Uh, but that's the starting point, and you can go ahead and pick and choose which other permission you want. And then finally, um, you know, after you've completed setting the permissions of the tables, that doesn't automatically give people access. You've only gone ahead and set the permissions, and it's now ready to share it. But in order to share it, the people who need access to it, that they need to actually go to the app store, they need to search for your apps, and then also make sure that 
um, you as the person who's sharing it has selected a security group where all the outside teams people are part of that security group and they can go ahead and share that. So this is something that is very important that just going ahead and selecting that the security doesn't fix the whole thing. Um, you need to be able to get, select the option to share the app and then sharing the app, you need to have a security group, which is a Microsoft 365 security group to go ahead and do that. And then finally, um, you can only share apps to security groups with less than 1000 members. At least that's the limitation right now. You know, who knows what will happen tomorrow. And so here's basically a screenshot of that. And finally, I want to leave you with my two good friends over here. There's April and Reza. Uh, they've done some great deep dive videos on that, and I put their links in the uh, description below. So go check their stuff out. And as always, keep power apping.